Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Have you ever seen a man or a woman step out of the restroom, public restroom, and they are dressed to the nine. They have it together from head to toe. But there's one problem, one problem. They've got a, a roll of toilet paper or a string of toilet paper dragging, stuck at the bottom of their foot. And they're just walking in their little toilet papers following along behind. They don't have a clue. Why? Because they stood in the mirror washing their hands, drying their hands, getting themselves together, and they didn't bother to look down. They didn't bother to check themselves 360 degrees. So they're going by what they see from their vantage point. While everyone else is seeing from a whole different angle. So they tend to be the last to know. Unless they look down and catch it or somebody calls their attention to it. They're the last to know. They think they're sharp. But they got a long string of toilet paper dragging behind them. With every step. Now. <laughs> That's the same way it is with many of us with, we may have nice personalities, but we may have some real ugly characteristics that cause people not to want to be around us. Have you ever felt like people just don't want to be around you? Have you ever felt like people tend to get annoyed with you or they tend to get exasperated? They're, Ah, sighing. Ah, ah, they've got those facial expressions. They're looking at each other when you come in the room. Before you get into the victim mindset, take a little minute to ask God, Lord, what is it about me that causes that reaction? Because I'm getting it from too many people. What is going on with me that seems to rub people the wrong way? Do you know God is so personal and so attentive? He will answer you one way or another. He will either bring up a moment of confrontation with another person who will tell you a little bit about yourself. It may be suggested, it may be kind and tender, or it may be merciless and, and rough. Either way, if you really want to grow, and you really want to know, all nonsense aside, get the truth out of it. Ask God to give you eyes to see it ears to hear, and a heart to understand, and humility to receive. And if you keep that attitude and not be so quick to get offended, you will grow in leaps and bounds. Even some of the very ones critiquing you all the time will be the ones who don't grow while you're growing way beyond them. Why? Because you're taking it in the right spirit. Now that doesn't mean you are to be a doormat. I'm not talking about that. All I'm saying is, be willing and not embarrassed when someone says, you got a string of toilet paper on your shoe, you kind of want to get that off? Yeah. Well, somebody may tell you, you tend to be a little self-centered there. Had you thought about anybody else? You know, when you made that decision, you tend to speak up quite quickly. Have you thought of pulling somebody aside, talking to them privately, protecting their dignity, rather than fronting them off in public, which you oftentimes tend to do? Then you wonder why people don't want to engage in a conversation, because you will get ugly and they will get hurt. So... What I'm saying is people may say things like that to you and you think they're picking on you. 
And God himself may be using those people to stick a mirror in front of you and spin you around 360 degrees so you get a full view of your mess. Because when you look in the front, hey, put on that facial expression so you can look your best. But when you're out in public, you're not doing that. They get the real picture. They get all the angles you don't get to see. And you wonder why they're so annoyed by you, why they're so oh, pushed away, why they, they avoid you. Hmm. If you really want to grow, ask God and pray on making a change. You don't have to change who you are. You don't have to change your personality, but you can change some of your ways because some of your ways are locked into flesh and flesh brings mess. That's all I'm going to say. Think on it, pray on it, chew on it.